Lady Day Doff by Connect TV. I'm backstage here at Boxer in uh, at Sky Sports Boxing. Um, we are in association with Empire Fight Store and sponsored by ESBC Boxing Game. I'm delighted to be joined by victorious Michael Webster. How are we feeling? Good, thank you. Great. Yeah, that was a good performance. Yeah, it was a good performance. Yeah, like you say, we, we work hard in the gym for that type of performance. A decent opponent, and got him out there early, early night. Absolutely. Was there any pressure coming into this fight? A big stage, big cards, big platform. No, I've been here before, like you say, it, it doesn't matter once you're in there, you zone out. It's like you say, I had a good fan base come down. Um, once you get in there, there's a ring's a ring in it, it doesn't matter who it is. As long as there's someone on the other side, that's it. Talk to me about preparation in this fight, you know, with any changes to camp, anything, any kind of surprises that you had to kind of any adversities that you had to get over for this one? <laughs> like you say, we've had we've had it last time, uh, we had we've had about seven or eight different opponents this week. Um, we had a last minute opponent yesterday we found out. Um, but we just take it with a pinch of salt, really. You just take it in your stride. Um, we've had a great camp, like you say. I've been, I've been in the gym since my last fight, taking over. Been in the gym for six months. I don't, I don't like go out of the gym. I'm always fit. I'm always ready to go. So. You know those kind of late opponents. We always hear fighters say, you know, stay ready. It doesn't matter about the opponent. I come in. I'm going to impose my game. But do you, you know, obviously that is very, very short notice. You have to just have that focus of I'm going to stick to my game and whatever he brings, he brings. Yeah, of course. It's just you just got to focus on yourself. It doesn't matter what they're doing. Like you say, he, he should have been more worried about me than I was him. It's as simple as that. Um, but no, but like you say, we, we had a look at him. I didn't see nothing I wasn't worried about. He had a decent record, like you say, come come with 17 wins, only four losses. And the four losses he'd had were against decent opposition. So and he's never been stopped like that. So it just goes to show. How does that make you feel, knowing that you've gotten a, you've stopped someone that hasn't been stopped before? No, he's been stopped before, but he, he's never been stopped that early or and that or that good. But like you say, it just comes with pinch salt. We didn't I didn't plan on stopping him. I just wanted to box, I wanted the rounds because if you look at my if you look at my record, I've not had many rounds. So the plan was to get some rounds under my belt, but it just clearly didn't happen. Listen, the cruiserweight division, in boxing, the heavyweight division is the one where everyone kind of takes a topic of conversation, and you know, and kind of the casual fans like to get on board with the heavyweight kind of conversation. But right now is a really interesting time for the cruiserweight division. It's a really exciting time. We're seeing all these really high level cruiserweights and all these different belts and all these different promoters coming in and, and a lot of exciting times. Uh, what is it like for you to, to know that you're in, you're in part of this really exciting division now? Like you say, it's great. Um, we work hard for this, we work hard for these type of platforms. Like, like you say, my first few fights were in small hall shows, I'm going to sell tickets. Now I'm on a big stage, a big platform, so it makes a hard work worth it. Well, listen, I will let you go. You. Congratulations again. Thank Lovely you. to meet you. you. Uh, Michael Webster for Fight Connect TV. Thank you, Thank you very much.